Hey scientists, let's explore motion. Motion is the movement of an object in relation to another object. There are a lot of different ways to measure an object's motion, but I want to focus on speed for now. You probably already know a lot about speed. Maybe you ran track and are always trying to increase your speed. Maybe you've tried to ride your bike faster than your friend. Or maybe your mom got pulled over by a cop for going over the speed limit. Speed is just a calculation of an object's distance over a period of time. It can be measured in almost any unit of measurement for distance. In American cars, we use miles and hours to calculate speed. Let's say it took your school bus one hour to go 35 miles down the road. I use my equation for speed, which is speed equals distance divided by time. I plug in my numbers so that speed equals 35 miles divided by one hour, and I come up with my speed being 35 miles per hour. Many other countries like Germany, France, Sweden, and China use kilometers per hour. It's still speed, but they use a different measurement for distance. In science, we mostly use meters and seconds. Let's say you take a toy car and roll it eight meters across the floor. One meter is just a little bit longer than a yardstick. And it takes your car four seconds to travel from the start to the end. I can then plug these numbers into that same equation speed equals distance divided by time. I can plug in my numbers where speed equals eight meters divided by four seconds, and I come up with my speed being two meters per second. I can also graph this information. Remember, whenever you're graphing speed, time is always at the bottom of the graph. If my car was always going the same speed, my graph would be a straight line. If my car was going faster, I would have a steeper line. If my car stops, you end up with a flat line. The distance remains the same, but time still moves forward. My car could also speed up or start to slow down. Let's take some time to look at a question. 